Hi everyone, I'm back with Mary Pratt, aka Pra, who very kindly um, spoke to me last week about how she overcame a major career setback. And today we're going to be focusing on the positives, the lessons that she's learned along the way, her silver linings, and how she has become founder of the Caviar Spoon. Hi, Pra. Hi, Donya. Thank you so much for coming back. Oh, my pleasure. So, listen, last time, it, I wouldn't say it got negative, but I felt like I was maybe reminding you a little of the past. I felt traumatized after. <laughs> that was terrible. But I had to sit down and just have a break. <laughs> <laughs> So now today I want to focus hopefully a little bit more on the positives, what you kind of learned from the experience. You did kind of touch a, a little bit on the lessons that you learned. I think you mentioned last time that you were very much, um, you know, you had a lot of energy to give. You were pushing forward perhaps when you needed to slow down a little bit. But if you could choose like, you know, your top three lessons that you took away from the experience, what, what would they be, do you think? Uh, one which I mentioned last week is never let anyone define you at all. It's so important to keep focused. Uh, also, I think a lesson is charge is really good and breaks are really good. If you have too much charge, so say for example you want to get there and you're on a, a project, you want to charge above and beyond you could ever charge. It's so empowering and you're going to do it. You don't want to keep going off on tangents. But sometimes if you're charging at that speed with, with something really important, you need to put your brakes on. So having that balance between a push and a kind of pull is absolutely critical. It's really critical. Especially, like you said, when you're making those big decisions. Yes, because the reality is we're not perfect, right? No one is 100% at everything. So you have to look at the parts you're really good at and do them really well, but you can't rush through the parts which needs extra help. So you mentioned, um, you know, that you are kind of working on some collaborations now. Uh, you are the master behind that. Um, and I know you've set up the Caviar Spoon, which focuses on collaboration specifically. Can you tell us a little bit more about the Caviar Spoon and the purpose behind it? Yeah, I mean, I when I was in recruitment, it used to be person for company. I'm kind of, it's like a recruitment model for brand to brand. And uh, we looked and there's a gaping market in terms of collaborations or collaborative advantages. So you see many brands doing their own thing. They may have a collab, but they don't all come together. So we've created this platform, which is going live at the end of the year. And it's to help companies, emerging brands, corporates, media, content creators, to really come together. They can create pitches. Uh, or be part of collaborations. The whole purpose to expand their databases, open up new avenues, uh, gain more ROI, uh, and really save unnecessary overspend on social media marketing and PR. The amount of people I've profiled are incredibly good at what they do, but sometimes they just miss opportunities. So, you know, there's amazing collaborations out there. So if you think about Smeg and Dolce and & Gabbana, or um, Spotify with a, an astrologer, and they've created these cosmic playlists. There's all of these ideas, but sometimes people think it's just a beauty brand with a fashion label, or an influencer with a hotel. And there's so much more than that. So the collaboration you know, platform, the Caviar Spin, is really about helping companies, and it's a blank canvas um, to make this kind of magic happen. And wrapped around that, we're doing some really good masterclasses because I do believe you have to be at the peak of your game mentally and physically yeah. to be at the peak of your game in business. I think my experiences of the past have been a thing which has solidified my purpose, which is what the caviar spoon is. That's exactly what I was going to say, actually. I was going to say you've kind of used the lessons that you've learned from the past and applied them today. Yes. Because often when we're you know, experiencing something negative or a challenge, we don't really understand why it's happening to us, but then it's only later down the line that we look back and we can kind of reflect and think, actually, there was a purpose behind it. And maybe for you, the caviar spoon is almost like your silver lining. You know, it might never have happened. Yeah. And when you look at it, Don, you know, I did the, you know, Cranfield Business School. I mean, that's a, a really good business program to do. But my first degree of business has been by making the worst errors <laughs> that, you know, I've literally nailed that first degree of making the errors which have become the uh, reason why I'm doing the caviar spoon because I can see an opportunity but wrapped around that I see a lot of um, people just like us some are doing well some are struggling yeah. 
and I'm sitting on the fence going, wow, we can help these people. We can help these brands, whether they're corporate, whether they're agencies, whether they're emerging. Uh, so it really has, yeah, there is a silver lining. Yeah, 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 which is fantastic. And one final question to end on. If you could give yourself, you know, your younger self, one piece of advice, looking back, what would it be? Do you know the one piece of advice which I did give myself and I still live by is, why well, I said to you earlier, never let someone define you. Yeah. You know, I, you know, at the time, if I didn't action anything, then I could sit there and go, well, I should have just pushed on, but I really did push. Um, so I think that's, yeah, my, I did what I was meant to do. Um, I think the, the only piece I'd sit there and say to myself is slow down. Yeah. And that's not in a negative way. That's not in a, well, be steady. But it's just in the, in the purpose of when something is a little bit tricky or you're not 100% sure, just put the brakes on slightly, yeah. assess it. Then if you still think it's right, charge. But yeah. don't keep going full pelt. Which is great advice, especially today when everyone is just so busy and propelling forward, just take a step back. Yeah, yeah. And I think, you know, we were also another lesson which I've learned as well, which I think is really good, is just be yourself. And, you know, I see that and you see that, you know, especially in the Middle East, people are trying to copy, copy, copy. You go onto these Instagram pages, you think these people who with the big posters saying, go girl, go boy, whatever, you know, they're, you know, it's, oh, they're so successful, but it's not the reality. And the reality is that some people may not just like, they may not like you and they may not like your business, but if that's the case, they're not your type of people anyway. Yeah. So just be you and just enjoy the experience. Yeah, absolutely. That's great advice. Thank you so much, Prof, oh, for coming and you. sharing your story and your advice. You've obviously got so much wisdom to share. It's amazing. So thank you so much. Oh, my pleasure. Thank you, Donya. Thank you, everyone, for watching.